Hello everyone, I'm Anthony and this is the first video about the DeFi protocol engineering class where I'm going to teach you how to build a complete DeFi protocol from scratch in Solidity or any EVM based platform. We are going to build a complete DeFi protocol that solves under collateralized loans on the blockchain. This is a very common problem we see in the DeFi landscape. And like I mentioned before, you cannot find this on the internet and it's not being teached on YouTube because I engineered this protocol myself from the ground up. This lesson is a high technical overview because the protocol we are going to build exists out of a couple of sub protocols. And it's very important once we start to implement these protocols into Solidity that you have a very good understanding of how these building blocks work. So what problem are we going to solve? If we take a look at the current DeFi landscape, the only protocols we see for lending are over collateralized loans. The reason for that is because on the blockchain, there is no good way to assess your credit risk. So that's the reason why you need to provide more capital than the amount you are going to borrow. However, there are some under collateralized lending protocols out there, but these are very opinionated and very centralized because these authorities are assessing your credit risk themselves. And why should one central authority assess our credit risk, especially if we are working on a decentralized platform? So what is the solution? What are we going to build? What are you going to learn? We are going to build a complete DeFi protocol that uses a binary options market that is powered by bonding curves on top of our own lending protocol and this to come to an unopinionated interest rate and credit risk discovery. What are you going to learn here? We are going to cover binary options markets, bonding curves, who act as an automated market maker. We are going to implement our own lending protocol with pools and we are going to create our own formula to derive the interest rate from the binary options market. We all going to implement this in Solidity, which will work on any EVM based platform. The first building block of our protocol is going to be the entry point smart contract. It's basically a main API gateway for our protocol, because like I mentioned before, our protocol exists out of a couple of sub modules, building blocks, and each of these building blocks will have their own smart contract. However, the users will only interact with our API gateway, our main entry point smart contract. For example, they can request a new loan, they can buy and sell their loan tokens, users can pay back the loan, and of course an API for the backers and the hedgers to claim the profits. The next building block is the binary options market powered by bonding curves. The binary options market is the place where the backers and the hedgers can buy and sell their long or short tokens. So the people who believe that the borrower is credit worthy can back the loan by buying long tokens. On the other hand, people who believe that the borrower is not credit worthy, hence the loan is likely going to default, can buy short tokens. The binary options market is a very crucial building block of the protocol because that's exactly what we are going to use to derive and calculate the interest rate from. So what is a bonding curve? A bonding curve describes the relationship between the price and supply of an asset. It acts as an automated market maker to price the tokens and to provide us with an infinite amount of supply, an infinite amount of liquidity. And that's very important for our binary options market because the backers and the hedgers will buy and sell their long and short tokens. So we need to have a market maker that can provide us with an infinite amount of liquidity and also something that can price our tokens. Bonding curves come in different shapes and forms. On this slide, we can see the exponential curve on the left and the sigmoid curve on the right. If we take a closer look at the exponential curve, we can see that how higher the supply is, that means the more people are buying from the curve, the higher the exponential growth of the price will be. This means that the early adopters will pay a much lower price in comparison to the late adopters. They will pay a much higher price. On the other hand, on the sigmoid curve, we can see that the curve slowly raises and at a certain point of supply, it will grow exponentially in price. This keeps going until we reach a certain amount of supply and the curve stabilizes, it smooths out. 
This means that there is still some reward for early adopters, but it does not punish the latecomers so much in comparison to the exponential curve. We will cover bonding curves more in depth in further lessons because implementing those curves in Solidity is not that straightforward. Those mathematical complex formulas always come with floating points and integer overflows. So implementing them is not a straightforward task, but we will cover that in further lessons. And now we are at the most important building block of them all, which is the interest rate discovery. It's the bread and butter of our DeFi protocol because each loan needs to have an interest rate and the value of that interest rate is a direct reflection of the market perception. So the market will discover the credit risk and come to an unopinionated interest rate. So how do we come to that interest rate? Well, we will calculate the long to short ratio based of the binary options market. Because in the binary options market, we have the longers and the shorters, and they all will buy and sell tokens. At a certain point, the loan, the funding round will close us, and we will have some supply in the long tokens and some supply in the short tokens. Based on those supplies, based on the market caps, we can calculate the long to short ratio. So how higher the ratio is, the lower the market perceives the loan as risky because there are more longs in comparison to the shorts. On the other hand, how lower the ratio is, how higher the market perceives the loan as risky because there are more shorts in comparison to the longs. So how less risky the market perceives a borrower is, the lower the interest rate. The higher the market perceives the risk of the borrower is, the higher the interest rate will be. So if we take a closer look at calculating the interest rate, we can see here the total volume of the binary options market. We can see the total volume sitting in the longs and the total volume sitting in the shorts. So we basically calculate the long to short ratio and feed that value into a declining function. The declining function can have multiple forms such as linear, hyperbolic or exponential. In this case, I'm using a linear declining function. So how higher the long to short ratio is, the lower the interest rate is going to be. The lower the long to short ratio is, the higher the interest rate is going to be. And we will experiment with different shapes and forms of this declining function to see what impact it has at calculating the interest rate. So this was the first lesson of the DeFi protocol engineering series where we did a high level technical overview of all the building blocks you are going to learn and implement. Hey you, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to see more of these exclusive classes, follow me on Patreon where we are building the most incredible things. Thanks for watching this video and I see you in one of my live streams. Cheers.